peace be with you welcome back to my channel for another video another spiritual download if this is the first time that you're coming across my channel i just want to greet you by saying hey there hi there and hello there you're more than welcome to like this video share this video comment subscribe maybe leave the video click off go meditate come back and see how you feel about it based on the information that you know could be confirming something maybe you needed clarification so you can make a determination so that you could prevent stagnation that was a little tarot card rap i don't know what you heard about the platform but one thing you need to know is i got those spiritual bars <laughs> ah come on in have a seat stand up whatever you feel that you spiritually need to do just know that i am supporting you in the energy and if you are returning back to the channel, then I know that you are my beautiful soul tribe. Are we not connected in the ethers? They can't stop us, y'all. They tried to block us from one another. They tried to separate us. They tried to sever our spiritual ties by way of the divine, uh, how do you say, orchestrated plan for our lives. Listen, somebody needs to take the trash out. I hear the trash man over here. And sometimes the trash could be a person, place, or thing. Nevertheless... Let's go ahead and get into the spiritual download. Somebody doesn't want this information to come out. I was at the park, you know, sitting there eating my gyro, also known as a lamb wrap, you know, thinly sliced lamb with the cucumbers. You know, it was so good, my friend, for my lunch. I said, oh, my God, I need something to eat. Comida, comida. Listen, nevertheless. I'm sitting there eating my mouth-watering sandwich, giving gratitude to the universe, just grateful for the sandwich. You ever just been in a position that you didn't made it through so many dark nights of the soul that you just grateful? You grateful for the stop sign. You grateful for the steering wheel. You are grateful for the door. You are grateful for the counter. You are grateful for the table. You just grateful for every little hair on your head because I'm telling you something about going through that dark night of the soul. You know, it just it just makes you so glad to be alive at this time. You know that something good is backing you and you know that it's all starting to make sense, be it a good experience, bad experience or something indifferent. Yes, I did just go on a very beautiful spiritual tangent. Welcome to my beautiful spiritual ascension that is being televised. You're watching me go through a death. Woo! But you know, you're not exempt from seeing my transformation. You definitely ain't exempt. <laughs> and neither am I from watching this rebirth in front of the entire world. This is what you just got by way of how I'm telling you I was feeling it as I was eating my yiddo. Okay, but listen, as I'm eating the yiddo, back to the reading. That was a little commercial break. Newcomers, hang in there. You'll, you'll get it. You'll know when the commercial breaks are coming. But as I'm sitting there eating my sandwich... I got the download about an isolation spell. I said the isolation spell worked in your favor. I'm sitting there like, huh? The isolation spell, the hermit energy forced you to go within. Somebody wanted you isolated, paranoid, um, with social anxiety, depression. Somebody did not want you to be seen. Somebody wanted you to doubt your gifts. Somebody wanted you to think that you were crazy. Somebody wanted to label you as schizophrenic, you know, when all the while you had a spiritual gift, you have a spiritual gift, speaking past tense, present, and or future, but your gift has gotten better. I just heard practice makes perfect. Something about feeling as though you were living out the same day over and over. Somebody wanted you to be in this whirlwind of like a psychotic ass episode. But what they don't understand is that once you master your heart, which is your mind, then you then can think yourself out of any situation by way of being the alchemist. These cards are fighting somebody and they're not me. They're not us because they're about to tell us the truth and somebody does not want it to come out, baby. Let's go ahead and get into this download. Holy Spirit, divine ancestors, only of the highest of white light. I call upon my divine spirit team, my beautiful war angels. Listen, war angels, I give you permission to intercede on my behalf. Bring as many war angels with you as the most high will allow you to assign to me and the divine collective. And if anything comes up against us in this destiny or even tries or if they even think about it, listen, drag their ass, drag them to and fro. Drag them to and fro and let them be devoured by the Holy Spirits, by the divine ancestors, because these people have been eliminated. Listen, that is my prayer. That was a real deep prayer. 
but sometimes that's what it calls for on this beautiful Monday. Show me this isolation spell that worked in the divine collector's favor. Somebody wanted you not to be seen, you know, not to get up, not to want to get dressed, not to want to come your air. Okay. What they did was they welcomed uh, your awakening without realizing it. When I say welcomed, it's like they opened the door um, for the new you to come in. It's like they were, they were really wanting to... Uh, bring in, I'm getting a welcoming energy. They wanted to bring in chaos, confusion, death, psychotic episodes, you not feeling worthy, uh, not wanting to connect with anybody, fear of creating, fear of uh, abundance and love relationships. This is giving me solar plex sexual energy. I don't know why I'm getting that sex magic. Somebody wanted to siphon your energy. Ladies, you know, listen, sometimes you get guys that are just like, oh, I just want to go down on you. There's a, there's a system in it, you know? Sometimes they're looking for your essence. Sometimes they're trying to siphon your creativity by way of fellatio. That could have been a little bit too much, but hopefully you got it. Because if you don't, you're going to understand it soon enough. And I pray that it's not too late for you to get your power back. Yeah, somebody wanted to take your youth. Somebody wanted time to go by. Somebody wanted you to lose track of time. This isolation spell was the best thing they could have ever done. What they did was they made you welcome your higher self into this cavern. You overcame your demons. Archangel Michael, why am I picking up this energy to find ancestors? Talk to me. I talk back. Talk to me. What is it that I need to see? Somebody don't want it to come out. I can not make it up i damn near got on top of the table y'all and did the spiritual twerk did i not just say divine ancestors look who came out they're like yes seven of wands that's spiritual protection that's supernatural energy it was divinely orchestrated that these people would try to isolate you spirit is like okay so might it be because what you've meant uh, what you've meant excuse me or what you mean for bad, what you've meant for bad and evil to destroy my divine being. I'm going to show you how the creator is going to turn around and make this a victory. Somebody wants confusion, y'all. Even with this message, there's a little bit of pushback. Somebody wanted you in this self-conflicted energy, whether to go or to stay. Justice is here. Things are being balanced out. Archangel Michael, divine ancestors. Can you close that door of anybody trying to siphon our power and tap into this energy? Thank you, spirit. Seven of Wands, your divine ancestor said, listen, the isolation spell worked in your favor. Not only did all the black magic work in your favor, somebody wanted you isolated, off to yourself, ostracized, uh, left out in the cold so that they could torment you, right? It's a very brutal type of a magic. And it's crazy because you're still moving forward. Ooh, we, ooh, we, ooh, we. Ace of Cups, helping hand of the most high, came down in the dark night of the soul and the caverns and the escapades of your of your soul where you met your demons, right? You met your inner demons. Spirits of molestation. Come on now. You healed. You took your power back from the molester. You said, you know what? I'm tired of giving you my power about what you did to me when I was seven, when I was eight. I don't want to feel trapped anymore. Somebody doesn't know how to handle you now that you've mastered all levels of healing. Okay. They isolated you. So you stayed in. You said, okay, spirit, something. I just don't want to go out. Maybe you lost track of time. They wanted you in this dark night of the soul. They want you to feel trapped. It was a beautiful plan because spirit came into the dark night of the soul, into the darkest of places by way of the caverns of your mind and made you face your inner demons and then the ones outside of you had already been defeated. Huh. Two of Cups. The devil didn't have anything to attach itself to. I just heard. Two of Cups. Spirit came into this dark night of this, this isolation energy and offered you a cup with spirit. Sure did. Sure did. It's almost like, you know, why run from the dark? Just be consumed in it. Let's deal with it. And then I'm going to show you the way out. I'm going to show you the light. Spirit came in and offered you a cup as a friend, Knight of Cups. You became your best friend. You understood the workings of your mind and your inner spirit, your higher self. You started to make yourself proud. 
by way of how you were navigating these days, okay? Somebody wanted you at behavioral health. Somebody wanted you to be stuck. Somebody wanted you to uh, just be all messed up, you know? This is somebody that really maliciously tried to destroy you, and now they are regretting every little bit. The Queen of Swords, you learned how to master your mind. The sword is mental. Sword represents wisdom. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and energy. Libra being the balance, two of pentacles. You learned how to balance out dark and light. Ooh. You learned how to balance out the dark night of the soul and the future. You learned how to time travel by way of catering to your higher self. And you gave yourself permission to be balanced and be well. And so you were, and so mote it be, and you mastered yourself. And then you got over the loneliness and you understood that being alone was probably the best thing for you, that it was vital, that even in what appeared to be something that was created to destroy you became your biggest weapon against your enemy. And then you decided not to be your own worst enemy and you cut off a certain version of yourself and you had a ceremony and you got rid of her, you got rid of him. And he said, you know, it's really hard to see you go. But the suffering has to stop. The days keep going by. The sun keeps coming up. So the Most High must have a purpose for me. And then you became a very powerful guru, a very big spiritual gangster, so much so that you that you went through a dark night of the soul that's one for the books. You are the written word. You went over your past investments. You understood your part in everything. And then you gave your enemy nothing to feed off of. Somebody's trying to figure out how the hell you did it. Show me what I need to see, Archangel Michael intuition the moon somebody wanted you paranoid somebody wanted you paranoid about a lover okay somebody didn't want you to self-love somebody didn't want you to vibrate on a high level of love by way of a high frequency somebody wanted to push lovers away from you i mean this don't this does not necessarily have to be like a lover by way of sexual intimacy this could be friends this could be what you love somebody came for your solar plex somebody came for your womb somebody came for what it is you're giving birth to, okay? Somebody wanted your creativity blocked by way of your mind, your heart chakra, and your solar plex, I just heard. And the three are all connected. And now there's a flow. You found the flow. You know that the creator of all things is real because you know there was nobody in this isolation energy other than you and your spirit team. And so you met your demons. You had a talk with the devil. The devil made a deal with you and you declined. And now... The devil's been defeated. The moon is here. Intuition. Somebody wanted you afraid, schizophrenic, seeing stuff, hallucinating. Uh, just basically batshit crazy. It's the best thing they could have ever done to you. I just heard that song by CeeLo. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Uh, there was something so precious about that day. Even your emotions got to let go of so much space. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And when I out there, I out there, yeah, I was out of touch. But it wasn't because I didn't know enough. I just knew too much. Does that make me crazy? That wasn't my note, but next time I'll sing it a little bit better. I don't know if that's all the words, but those are the words that were supposed to go with the song right now. I rewrote the song. Shout out to CeeLo, wherever he is. Listen, that's a very powerful song. You're saying I'm grateful for when it was that, you know, I was out of my mind. I thought I was out of touch, but I was exactly where I needed to be. I was exactly where I needed to be. There's a lot of activity around me. There's a lot of people moving around around me. There's a lot of people moving around around you. Somebody doesn't know how to move around around you. All of a sudden, right before the video, it was silent. Now I'm getting all this extra activity and somebody in the alley and woo, woo, trash man coming on a day. It's not trash day. It's a lot going on. Listen, somebody's really antsy by the fact that you are mastering yourself in the isolation uh, stage and what they missed honestly was that you were being incubated okay you were in a cocoon you were becoming the butterfly by way of transformation ah! you transformed into something so beautiful that now it's time to come out for the whole world to see you because you're going to show people how you did it i just heard 
understanding the workings of the inner mind. Somebody's really sending a lot of confusion. Six of Wands, they don't want you to know that it was them. Now you're taking a leap of faith, not fear, okay? Something in you could have said, you know what? I've been, I've been in the house for a, a long time. I got to get up. Yeah, that's witchcraft. That's witchcraft, baby. Something wanted to weigh you down. It's called a stronghold and you ate it. You devoured it, turned it into light. The devil had to flee. The devil was watching you like, damn, damn, damn. How? The isolation spell worked in your favor. Show me this isolation spell. Three of cups, you're being celebrated. <laughs> You've manifested something by way of being in isolation. I can't make it up. The three of cups. This is you embarking on new relationships. This is you uh, understanding the dynamics of who you are very much determines what it is that you attract at this point in your life. And now you're manifesting high vibrational people because you are a high vibrational person. You overcame the devil. You overthrew Satan's camp. All while being in hermit mode. I cannot make it up. I love it when the cards don't lie, baby. Okay. Somebody wanted to shut you up. Somebody wanted you to just go away and suffer in silence. They wanted you to fight with your demons. They wanted you to stay in this cavern and just basically take yourself out. Why? Because they knew that you were divine. They knew they couldn't take you out. The seven of wands came up. Okay. So they created illusions. Well, damn, we can't touch her. Well, damn, we can't touch him. We might as well just paint these illusions and try to do all that we can with the hopes that this person self-destructs. Self Somebody wanted you to commit suicide. Ooh, well, you did. You killed a version of yourself. They just didn't see the rebirth. Okay, that could have went over somebody's head, honey, baby. Huh? You still came out caring, loving, and kind. Whatever this isolation spell is, baby, it worked in your favor. Shout out to your enemies. Shout out to them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your enemy is your greatest teacher. Your enemy taught you more than what you realize, but now you realize that it has led you to your wishes being fulfilled. Now you are somebody that likes themselves. You got to know yourself, right? You learned how to alchemize the energy. You learned how not to be your own first and worst enemy. You still came out caring, loving, and kind, giving, not resenting your enemy, you understand the larger scheme of things and how the creator of all used the devil to perfect your faith. To how the creator of all things used your fears to manifest your faith. And then you just said, you know, where I'm going, I mean, my fears can't go with me. I might as well just drop them off. You absolutely did go through some type of suicide. You killed a version of yourself that just was not serving any purpose, at least not up until set point. The strength is here. This is about your power. You never lost your power. You always had it. And you decided that, hey, listen, I'm going to determine what the outcome is. I'm no longer believing what somebody else wants from my life by way of what they're projecting onto me because that's how they feel. In order to project evil, darkness, sadness, okay, You got to feel that way. You got to be that energy. And just like we're the high frequency by way of the highest of white light, direct connection to source, omnipresent energy, light, love, joy. That is an energy. That is a frequency. Somebody had to be in a demonic ass energy to even want to wish this for you. Somebody did this relentlessly over and over, nonstop. Got up, brushed their teeth, ate a little something, did a little black magic. Got up, brushed it. Now they don't have no life. Their whole life was built around you, believe it or not. They'll never admit that to you. King of Wands, fire sign energy. You're coming out very confident. You're coming out as somebody who's now in control of their life by way of this hermit energy. This isolation spell was supposed to deter you, drive you crazy, make you want to physically kill yourself in the physical realm, uh, make you feel like nobody cared about you, loved you. It was a brilliant plan. Shout out to the creator of all things who understands and or knows every thought you have and knew that you had everything on the inside of you to overcome hermit Virgo energy. You had everything on the inside of you to purify yourself by way of that virgin energy, by way of the Virgo, okay? Six of wands to get a victory. You had everything on the inside of you. King of wands is confident, okay? Well-spoken. 
powerful, a leader. You came out of that closet ready and your enemy is in awe of how you used something that was meant to destroy you and you made it into a victory. Once you decided, oh shit, this battle ain't mine. Let the dead bury the dead. You made a decision, King of Cups. Now you're coming into a beautiful union with another divine counterpart. And this could just be loving people that are just like you. When you come across somebody who's just as loving and, as, and kind as you, it's like, oh, hello there, reflection. Because you understand the laws of physics. You understand that in order to be what it is that I want, I have to be that. I have to vibrate at a certain level as that. I just heard Lamborghini. I don't know if somebody wants a Lamborghini. Okay, you're vibrating at the level of a Lamborghini. You're vibrating at the level of wanting what it is that you want for yourself for somebody else. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, you're vibrating at the level of what it is that you're wanting. If you're manifesting stability and money, you're wanting that not only for yourself, but for other people. These beautiful people that you're attracting. Here comes this the real true divine soulmate by way of the four of wands. Somebody's mirroring you. Somebody went through the same thing as you, but you won't trauma bond about it. There's no need to. That time is over. Those people are dead and now you've been reborn and you're not required to go back into this cavern of hell. And now you seek isolation by way of balance, you know. You're like, yeah, you know, I can't hang out with people too long, but I can't be isolated for too long either. I have to find that balance by way of the two of pentacles, the empress, you are fertile. You are abundant. You are giving birth to new things. The nine of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. You're giving birth to new ideas, a new version of yourself every day. You're still learning and growing, but you're a little bit more patient with the process. You understand the levels and what needs to be done at every level. And that makes you an asset to all of humanity. Because now, by way of paying it forward, by way of giving back to the divine for being so gracious, for giving you that ace of cups and giving you love, in the darkest moments of your life, you're now under a beautiful, sacred, spiritual contract to give that to others and show them how to do it. Hence the fact that you are a teacher. Hence the fact that you are a spiritual guru, a spiritual master, no longer a practitioner. Oh, you ain't practicing a damn thing. You've mastered some levels. You know the way. <laughs> Follow me. Ain't that what he said, Tupac? <laughs> I know the way. Page of Wands, listen, this is about passion. Good news about your passions. You went through these death cycles like a champ. Some of the days you didn't. I mean, you got defeated. Let's keep it real. You died to your low vibrational self. It wasn't nobody in there fighting you, but your low vibrational self. You was in a full-blown fight with your low vibrational self. It was an illusion. It was a delusion. And you decided to break up with that version of yourself. Nobody could tell you that, hey, you got to be in this relationship. You like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, and then you started to think it out. You started to play it out. You're like, well, how much longer am I going to be here fighting this same demon about what somebody did to me? What happened to me when I was five? What happened to me when I was 16? What happened to me when I was 21? Da, 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 da. How long? Two more years, five more years, 10 more years. And you start to play it out. You're like, yo, I got to get up out of this. I have to. But the magician and the hermit, you manifested a whole new reality. There was nothing that could stop you from dreaming. There was nothing that could stop you from having this fantasy because you understood magic. You understood that, damn, if they can project all of this onto me by way of depression, anxiety, and they're feeding off of my fears. This is the way that these devils are able to get to me by way of the seven of cups and the magician. This is all projection of how they feel. Then let me give them nothing to attach themselves to. So you decided to break up with certain things. You got comfortable with your shadow. And you said, well, what if I reverse this and I just start to imagine myself to be well, imagine myself to be beautiful, imagine myself to be wealthy, imagine myself to be okay, imagine myself to have everything that I need right on time, knowing that this too is in divine order by way of me being in this hermit energy for which they wanted me to be isolated. What if you took a chance and you manifested the Ace of Pentacles because this was in your divine contract to have it? You started to make an agreement with spirit that you already had. Spirit came right into the dark night of the soul and was like, hey, how you doing? You're like, well, huh? it's been rough, <laughs> but I made it. <laughs> ah, 
the wheel of fortune listen things are turning in your favor a spirit set some people down so just like you're getting your good energy they now have to go through those levels of dark night of the soul okay so if you see people now not wanting to be in isolation fighting for their own sanity fighting for their own spiritual rights it is because it's energy returned to center. What you are is a great example, a great leader of how to control your head. The emperor gives me head energy. Your head is your heart. You said, be renewed by the renewing of your mind. Listen, and if I'm going to look back, I have to decide how I feel about what's behind me. Yea, though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I fear no evil because the most high is with me. I have discipline. I've been in isolation so long. I have discipline. Maybe I didn't understand it at first. Maybe I felt as though, oh my God, the world is going on and look at her. She's getting married and look at him. They're doing this and that. And spirit had you exactly where you needed to be. But now it's your time. Now you're giving birth to new ideas all over the world. Your name will be known all over the world. Listen, be it by way of the 3D or the 5D, everybody will know who you are. Ace of Pentacles. This is what you manifested by way of the will of fortune in the middle of the dark night of the soul and what appeared to be something that could have been holding you back. You were never being held back. Okay. Then you started to treat things with love and light and see from a position of love, you knew that something was oozing this insecurity and this is what gave your inner, your enemy, your energy. Your enemy, it didn't take them long to figure out what your weakness was. They're like, oh, you don't know your power. So that's exactly what they did. That's the kind of magic that they did. And they sat back and they laughed because they realized there was never really truly any battle. They never really truly had any power over you. You always had your gifts. But they're now being handed to themselves what they put out. By way of the will of fortune, they're getting their karma on a platter. Justice is here. Things are being balanced out. It's their energy. It has to return to center because now there's nothing that can attach itself to you. Not an entity, not a dark force. You're just way too happy. You're way too satisfied with the way things have turned out. Again, be it good, bad, or indifferent, you're understanding it's all just one big ass experience. There really was nothing bad that happened. You're looking back and you're like, it's all good. You know, I remember I came across one of my enemies who had done something real nasty to me. I had helped this person, gave her a place to stay. Uh, she was a full-blown karmic. Long story short, I saw her years later and she looked so bad. She was younger than me, but she looked old. I was like, girl, you ain't slept in a month of Sundays. And the last time I, I had seen her, I had put her out of my house. She had just done something that was like the ultimate betrayal, right? Nevertheless, she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like seven years later, it was like she was stuck. And I was like, listen, I forgive you. You've been holding on to this for this long. It was hard to watch. Like, I didn't even want to see her like that. Like, I had grown uh, past the pain, past the experience. I mean, I had forgiven myself for the red flags that I missed in this person. I'm like, listen, you were just being who you were meant to be, which was a damn karmic, insecure, okay, whatever. She looked horrible and I forgave her and she wanted to meet up with me. And I was like, no, like that's going a little too far, but I do forgive you. And I left her with some kind words and I was like, you know, I just hope everything gets better for you. I actually prayed for her you know, and I think things got better, but she learned a really tough lesson because I was a really good friend. Nevertheless, listen, careful what you put out, you will get back. The high priestess is here. You intuitively are putting out good things on purpose, deliberately. You have peace with what has happened and nothing can change that. It definitely is surpassing all of the enemy's understanding. Now they have to deal with what it is that they've put out their past investments, four of cups, heavy and regret, an unsuccessful plan, but it was very successful. Again, for you, you're like, thank you. I met myself. I sat with the devil, realized that he didn't have no power. The only power he had was by way of what the creator gave him permission to do. Then the creator said, you can do everything to my chosen. But you can't kill them. 
Remember you thought you were dying? Didn't it feel like you were dying? Now these people want to apologize. It's the Job kind of an energy. Ten of Swords, everything is fine. It's all good. Now you're the kingpin manifesting at will. All of your earthly realm responsibilities have been met and the universe is giving you exactly what it is that you need by way of your pentacles. You're still wise, protecting your energy and the universe is giving you everything that you deserve by way of that six of pentacles. Whew. Well, this is the story. This is the message. This is the download. Just as I open this door, I pray that the gatekeepers close it by way of permission of the creator of all things that allows me to use my gift as I stand in between the realms by way of the ethers, the physical and or the spirit realm to channel these messages for you. All of my information is in the description box below. All new readings, y'all, it's going to be 72 hours. I love y'all, but I did so many readings that I have to admit I have to sit down for just a moment. <laughs> And do some public readings, okay? A lot of these readings come out a day later if it takes forever to upload. So people are like, I just saw you online. I'm like, no, baby, the video was online. I was somewhere taking a nap, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but I love y'all. If you'd like to donate to, to the platform, it is greatly appreciated if the story resonated with you. If you need prayer, just email me. Even if I don't respond right away, just know that I get the email, that the prayer goes up the moment I see your name and I feel intuitively what it is that you need, okay? Nevertheless, this is the message. I love y'all wherever you are on this beautiful planet. Until the next video, as always, peace be with you.